Hi, my name's Bernie. I'm part of the IT team at RSL Awards, and today I'm going to take you through our new and refreshed uh, teacher registry. So this is a free service that we're offering, and it's very easy to uh, complete. Uh, and I'm going to take you through some of the screens today. The as you'll see on this screen here, this is the, your homepage for the teacher registry. You, it may look a little bit different by the time you come to fill it in, but generally you'll notice that there's a big blue button here to get started. If you're wondering how you'll find your way here, there will be a number of links throughout the RSL Awards website to bring you here, as well as when you have signed in, there will be a teacher registry link in the menu on the top right here. Okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna click on the uh, Create Your Teacher Registry Profile Today button. Here I am at step one of three. So these are three very short steps and they don't take very long to complete. So just to work through the very first step here, you can see that we have a number of options on the left. We have some tips on the right here, and there is an indicator for some of these fields that are mandatory. So we, we recommend strongly that you enter in information here. Not all of the fields on this form are mandatory. As we scroll down, you'll see that some of these aren't. So you don't have to put anything in there, but we strongly recommend you do because it'll just help promote your uh, experience and proficiency to the customers looking at this profile. At the very bottom here, you'll see there's a next button to move on to the second step, as well as a uh, back button to return to the previous step and a save feature. So if you don't want to fill it all in in one sitting, you can save, uh, you can click on the save button and then just resume at any point in time. I'll begin by entering my name, picking the instruments that I teach proficiently for rock school. So electric guitar and acoustic guitar. I started teaching uh, for Rock School back in 2010, so I'll pick that from the drop-down list here. And then in terms of the qualifications, it doesn't matter if you don't have any sort of degree level qualifications, anything that you might be helpful for those customers reviewing your profile. So in my case, I may have achieved a grade eight uh, in acoustic guitar with Rock School. So I'm gonna enter that in here and I'm gonna pick the year that I completed that qualification. I'll add another degree in as well. just to help add to my profile. Next is a number of questions about your DBS and public liability insurance. So if you don't know much about these, you can click on the learn more button and we'll, we'll give you some information to help you get started. But if you do have a DBS check, please enter the date. And if you have public liability insurance, please click yes before you're proceeding. The last section on this page asks you for your fee information. I am in England, so I'm gonna pick pound sterling as the currency that I take my payments in. And I happen to teach two different durations for my lessons. So I've got a 30 minute duration, which I charge at 20 pounds and a 60 minute duration, which I charge at 30. So you feel free to pick any durations that you like um, and into your fees in there. If you happen to teach uh, or charge by level, then you have some fields here to complete as well. Otherwise, I'm just gonna proceed on to the next step. Now, step two begins with um, asking us for our primary teaching address. So if I select mine, which is a business, <laughs> as you can see here, there are two fields that aren't mandatory, but I have chosen to enter the information because it in turn helps our system identify where you're located, which in turn helps your potential customers. The profile image here is asking us for us to upload an image. So I've got one prepared. Then the next question is contact details. So I'm going to enter in my email address, which doesn't have to be the same email address that you used to sign into the website. It can be a different one, uh, it's up to you. If you do have a phone number, then again, we'd recommend you enter that. Um, again, for your customer's benefits. And there are a number of fields here to enter in social media links if you have them available. So enter in as many as you like. Testimonials is the next section. And I'll skip the second one and just move on to the additional information where you have an opportunity to enter in anything about yourself to help promote your experience or your expertise to your customers. And now to move on to the third and final step. Okay, so here we are on the last step, which presents you with an opportunity just to check all of the information entered previously, just to ensure it's accurate. Um, so as we scroll down here, we can see all this information I entered on step one is captured in step two. 
my address here has been used to identify um, where exactly I am located, as you can see on the map here. And my profile image has been adjusted accordingly to be presented on the website. Contact information, social media information, testimonials are all listed here as I've entered them. And finally, I'm just asked to agree to the terms and conditions of the profiles. So I can read through the terms and conditions first, tick that I agree, and then choose to submit my profile for moderation. Great. So at this point, uh, RSL Award has been notified of your profile submission, so we'll be moderating it. At which point, once it's approved, we'll be sending you an email just to inform you of that, as well as um, displaying your profile live on our website for the customers to see. Now that RSL has approved your profile, um, it'll be live on our website in the Find a Teacher section. And as you can see here, we're looking at the United Kingdom teachers. And on the map, your pin will appear as such. And there'll be a link that's available to be clicked on that then opens up your full profile. You can return to edit your profile at any point, at which case RSL will just re-moderate it and resubmit the uh, new profile to be live on the website. Thank you very much.